Yo, what's up guys? Yeah, Poe Game here. Today we have a showdown live featuring Thunderous because Thunderous might be banned. That's right, Thunderous is being sus tested in the Pokemon Sword and Shield UU tier. It comes as a little bit of a surprise for me because I've been playing a lot of UU these past two weeks and I haven't had too much trouble with Thunderous and I've been spamming like water types too at that point. I saw the Steel and things like that as well. But uh, I know that there are currently tournaments going on and that Thunderous is popping up a bit in that. So if you guys want this team, let me show it off, by the way. Shout out to uh, Monkey25. Um, they had a regular Thunderous Therian, but it's it's Thunderous, it's regular Thunderous that is incarnate that is being suspect tested. And it's so funny because that brings me back to black and white where this mon got banned. That mon was a demon in black and white, especially with infinite rain. Straight up crazy. Uh, but we have some sticky web today. We're going to be laddering up from, uh, you know, the lower ladder laddering up. And I'll be doing a couple videos with this. And as we go higher and higher, I'll be using different Thunderous sets. And feel free to leave some teams on my Smogon profile. But before we get into the battles, and I'll have a little chapter, let's read up why this Pokemon is being suspect tested. So, uh, Thunderous has been in the tier for a long time at this stage. But for a while, it took a back seat. It had to compete with the extremely omnipresent Zeraora for a team slot, a fight, it usually ended up losing. This means that it wasn't really seen and dropped to RU as a result, but once Zero or left for OU, Thunderous came roaring back with a vengeance and established itself as one of the premier offensive Pokemon in UU. Thunderous has two main sets. The first is its pivot set, usually running Thunderbolt, Psychic, Knockoff, and U-Turn, but has other options like Grass Knot and Focus Blast if it works. If it wants, excuse me. This says no counters outside of the niche Gastrodon. It will force progress against everything else. And it's incredibly punishing against the tier's standard electric resist in Amoongus, Tangrowth, and Zarud. This makes it a bit of a headache to prepare for because it has a strong matchup against most of the tier's ground types. Crookedile just gives it a defiant boost and it takes a ton from U-Turn. The Nidos can't take Psychic. Mamoswine can't take any of its attacks bar Thunderbolt. Rhyperior can check it for some time, but all of these hate losing their item more than anything else. And they just get U-Turn fodder until they are in range. Thunderous is also faster than most offensive Pokemon. It blasts past the likes of Keldeo, Mianshao, and Salamence, while, it quite, uh, while it's quite difficult to check offensively. The few Pokemon that naturally outspeed it, Starmie, Noivern, and Zygarde, are niche options due to them facing competition from things like Primarina, Salamence, and Crocodile, while prior, uh, priority from the likes of Lycanroc, Dusk, and Mamoswine is helpful, but nothing Thunderous can't outlast thanks to its hazard immunity. They're talking about hazard immunity because of them. Um, obviously, it's immune to hazards on the ground, but also heavy duty boots mean that it is immune to the... Uh, stealth Rock as well, and they rely on a Life Orb to do damage. It's even capable of EVing itself to live their attacks as we've seen recently. This means that dealing with Thunderous both offensively and defensively is a very tall task. That is just a pivot set as well. Thunderous happens to have an access to Nasty Plot, which you can run to turn matchups against typical checks like Spadef, Amoongus, and Gastrodon on their heads, while also being an insanely difficult breaker to deal with on offensive teams. With utility as something that can resist revenge killing attempts like the likes of Choice Scarf, Jirachi, and Mianshot, thanks to its great typing while also providing an immunity to ground. With that all said, Thunderous is no Oko machine. It hardly knocks out anything in one shot at all. It's very possible for Pokemon like Como, Salamence, and Ahiligo to trade blows with it in the worst case scenarios, though Thunderous can simply U turn out on the match to put them in range later. While they very, while they're very, very, very niche, damn, <laughs> very niche. Eh? I had extra very there because I kind of had to. We've seen some innovations on bulkier teams like Gastrodon and Flygon, which can outlast Thunderous for most of the game. In addition, threats like Lycanroc, Dust, and Mamoswire are in good positions in the meta, and that, and at the moment, and their strong priority makes it possible to keep Thunderous at bay for a while. Thunderous is certainly an extremely powerful Pokemon. The community outcry for a substitute test has been growing, so here it is. So. Suspect test is going to be on. You can, you know, you can make your alt UU9T and then put whatever your name is, uh, and then it's going on until September 4th. So uh, yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts on Thunderous. Again, I'm a little bit indifferent at the moment. I actually faced this team when we were playing. Uh, this was the one where they got up Psyche Web and I almost lost, but then I bluffed Scarf Caldia and I was able to defog and then I was able to win with Ndidi. Uh, so that was the the game we have here. But they had changed up the team as well. But we have Focus Sash. Ooh, a Chansey. Ooh, a chance for Azov, because damn it, Mon goes in this game. Thunders ain't bad either. They do have a chancey, but Thunders is still not bad uh, on its own. I like Life or Buzzle as well, and SD Diggers B seems pretty solid too. Um, Crook plus this guy's. This Tentacruel is going to be annoying though for me to break early. Still kind of want to try and get up webs as quickly as possible. They end up bleeding off a Crocodile. This could be their rocker. I'm going to just go for Moonblast here. Yeah, especially because I, I don't know too much information about my opponent. And uh, I'm, I'm not trying to, like, not make the right play early on. But 
Obviously, right here, Sticky Web isn't really an option for me. Nasty Plot Azelf absolutely destroys them. I just gotta be very careful about it. I doubt they, they knock off here. Uh, I'm assuming this is Scarf Crooked out, just based on it. It's gonna be annoying to break this. We're gonna use Necrozma and try and scare it out. Necrozma. As they go for Sludge Bomb, that does nothing. <laughs> then again, I did get the special attack drop. Uh, I'm assuming maybe Chansey comes out as well. Do I want to double here into Azov or do I want to go Buzzwell? I think Buzzwell makes a little bit more sense. So this is nice because this is essentially a free attack. I have 414 attack, so I'm just going to click Close Combat here. I could click Earthquake, but I think I can click it out after on the Tentacruel uh, because that's something I want to force in. Unfortunately, Tangrowth... I was lying. Tangrowth does not wall me at all, bro. I'm clicking Close Combat again. I ain't even predicting Tentacruel. Yo, I thought, like, I mean... Oh my god! <laughs> Where were you all my life when I needed damage? Uh, we're not going to risk this thing being faster because I took 58%. Yeah, so I'm not going to risk that thing being faster for no reason. So, Get a Meteor Beam here. Um, Actually, let me fold on guys are perfect. So I got the play right. And this is amazing because now I can get up Sticky Web and then just completely destroy them with the same Pokemon that I was going to destroy them with anyway. They end up going Thunderous. I click Meteor Beam that way they can't boost up and do their thing. And we're gonna go out to Rabombi here. And what I'm gonna do is get up my sticky web first. That way that scarf crocodile is not faster than me. This is basically the only thing I need to. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, skill swap. That way I take their Volt Absorb, and that way my Thunders can hit them as well. So we're gonna stick away first. Nice. Now we skill swap. I kinda hope their choice lock. Hey, 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 go ahead and heal me. So this is good too because uh, obviously I get damage off on them for Thunderous as they go for Psychic there. And let me let me show them a real Psychic right now. Let me show them a real Psychic. And the second I get up a Nasty Plot with this thing, I win. So let me show them a real Psychic right now. Plus we have that thing in range of uh, this small right now too. So get a Psychic here. I can Focus Blast into Crocodile later. I'm assuming Chansey is going to want to come out eventually. Should I just... <laughs> I'm better than you. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> uh, so there's Chansey. Um, looking at it, Azov wins. So I want to just Nasty Plot up to get as much damage on this thing as possible. To get in my free... Oh, goodbye. Well, whatever comes in now dies. I guess if I can connect, that is. Hey, go ahead and give me that. Not bad. I KO Con Calder. Shoot, bro, I'm gonna go for another Nazi blah. I'm getting greedy on him. How much does this do? I remember doing this back in the day versus Chansey as well. And I remember after you got plus four, you you cooked them. Uh, you absolutely cooked them. I'm still going for it. Well, it's unfortunate to say the least. Hmm. Okay, so what I want to do here is go Diggers be an SD up to force in Tangrowth until I, I think I kill it in one hit with plus two Mega Kick. I could be wrong though. Ah, let me go ahead and get me another one because I'm so greedy. Just in case I didn't kill. And then I just want to weaken Con Kelder. Because basically what's going to happen here is, yeah, I, I'm just going to simply weaken Con Kelder. <laughs> I weakened it so much I put a six foot under. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a quick attack. <laughs> Did I misread that as extreme speed, bro? Oh, you are getting kicked. Just kidding. All right, let's just get some damage off so we don't lose. Okay. Should I plot here? Yes. Chances are they go chancy. Most likely, and then all I gotta do is side shock the. Uh, all I gotta do is side shock Tangrowth, and then I close combat it, and we they, we win. I think. Let me fire blast. I don't care. <laughs> I'm trying to end this quick. This is my first game on the ladder, and I'm, <laughs> I'm struggling over here. Uh, so it looks like when I play it, the person they change their life orbs on these mons. So cool, cool. I mean, Thunderous did its thing early. That chance he teleported. Oh, this is another Thunderous game, and I love it. They do have Defog though. 
on their team, and uh, this hopefully lives a plus six. It does live a plus six aqua jet, so I can just get an earthquake off and KO them back. I love Buzzle in this one too. It looks great, but yeah, we go to Bombi early. They have two defoggers. I don't know what what Oz is gonna do immediately, and I don't know if it's Scarf. I don't at all. And if it's actually Scarf is in its Zoroark here. They always happen to be Zoroark. I'm just getting up my sticky web just so I can like figure out what is what. You know what I mean? Yeah, so we just Moonblast here. And then we quick attack. Basically, so I can figure out like what is actually Zoroark, what is actually Toekiss, what is actually Salamence. Zoroark, if it comes out of Salamence or Toekiss, will be hit by the sticky web. I don't necessarily need webs in this game. Their team has two flyers. And I'm not as worried about them either way, but... Yeah, so that dies to quick attack now from Diggersby. I could have skill swapped there too, which would have been very funny. But that priority being gone is great. I think also Necrozma wins. Necrozma. <laughs> so we go Diggersby now, which is something they don't really switch well into. If they go Salamence, I believe I have to Mega Kick them though. I think. Okay, they're default. Good. <laughs> well, I was like, if they're Dragon Dead. Bro! <laughs> That attack sucks. <laughs> yeah, you should be able to be H slash, so I'm just gonna mega kick again. For some chip before I switch out. Oh my god, that does so much damage. Bro, what do you even you can't even switch? Like <laughs> you go out to one of your mons and you just take damage for no reason. I just don't want to lose to Toekis clicking air slash on me if it's scarf. We're gonna quick attack regardless of what this is. That's a Toekis. Awesome. So trying some trying time to see, excuse me, how much this Pokemon does. Now if this is Zoroark and my opponent completely outplays me here, congratulations. Oof. Uh oh, hold up. I feel like I'm feeling I'm feeling a wake up inside me. My alarm about to go not this turn obviously, I can't wake up this turn, but my alarm about to go off. Anyway, as of looks really strong here too. No. My alarm did not go off. Wait, that did zero. That actually did zero. Watch this play. Because they should they should go to shield form there because if I wake up, they die. No, I made the right play, but it didn't even work out. Oh, this game's getting a little bit harder than it needs to be now. Unfortunate. Yo, this thing is so weak, bro. And they don't even have Shadow Sneak too? Nice. <laughs> this Mon is so weak, bro. What's going on? Oh, hey, Toekiss. I wonder what you are. It's not like I can switch on that move. Alright, so we're going to double Necrozma here on Toekiss. And Meteor Beam the hell out of it. Bro! Dude, dude, dude. Time to lose. Alright, I'm just gonna plot and pray they miss Ness. Uh, play they miss Thunder Wave. Oh, that'd be too much to ask for. Hey, hit him up. Well, guys. I don't want to say that we lost because I missed Meteor Beam. Because that would be right. Alright, so if I got any damage on them, we could have won. I didn't realize how much Stone Edge did either. Good game, dude. <laughs> well well played, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I also think I played that really well. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> Ooh, another Tentacruel, which is something we do not like. But their team is really, really slow. But it looks like it's dual screens and then a tentacle. I don't know how to feel about this at all. I really don't. Azelf is very strong besides them having this mon. And Buzzle is stupid good here. Rotomite's still good versus me too. I like Necrozma early because um, it's like it's like weird here, right? Like it's good but bad at the same time. Them having Grimmsnarl is... Annoying for us. Oh, there should be a uh, Jota to the top today, by the way, if, as long as MVM blows it in two hours. 
Now, SD Diggersby is incredible here. I just gotta make sure that I don't allow Haxorus to set up on me. Or go, go for scale shots. And if it does, I need to make sure I hit it with enough damage so I can knock it out after. I'm going to go Snarl early. I'm going to use this to weaken this because Azelf is strong. Late game 2. Oh, never mind. The bane of my existence. Let's see if this lands. Awesome. So... Still going to try and hit them. Okay. <laughs> That's Prankster, by the way, which is pretty funny. <laughs> I, I did a live on Patreon. Um... Oh, this is awesome. You can't even kill me with anything. They might Voltage Chat, I guess, into Age Slash here. To be honest, that's a good play. I'm just gonna click Heat Wave. Again, that's a really good play. So I'm gonna expect my opponent to make that play. It also hits Grimson off to try to go back into it. But again, if they go AG, I want to be able to do this. Don't go, don't you dare go Haxorus. Don't you dare go Haxorus. Don't you dare go Haxorus, bro. I'm gonna be upset if they go Haxorus. Yeah. As I said, Voltage Chat and AG made the most sense. Woo! This on back damage. Fold on Geyser as we die. Oh my god, it doesn't even die. Necron this is the fakest, uh, this is the fakest paralyzed Necron I've ever seen in my life. And I just got some huge, like this is so good, right? We already got the damage off we need on Rotom. We got H slash gone, so it can't shadow sneak me. Like the only thing we can lose to is Scarf Jirachi, I feel. At this point. Yeah, let him knock me out there. If I bury out Diggersby, I can quick attack the Grimstar, so I can't do anything and I'm faster than its Prankster move. Because they're both plus one, but my speed tier is higher. So we go Diggersby right now with a quick attack. We get the kill. I, they Their normal resist doesn't like Earthquake, so I doubt they switch into it. But again, that Mon can actually beat me 1v1. But also, Buzzwool kills everything, too. So. But I can just get Iron Head flinched to death if they really, really, really want to. Um, I want to save your quick attack, so I'm going to go Azelf. You know, a real play is going for Rapid Spin here, being offensive tenor cruel, and then Hydro Pumping. I don't I don't want to predict Garachi, especially on the lower ladder. In my, You saw what happened last game, right? I, I'm trying to try and uh, like deal with all types of luck right now. So we always have Sash or Bombi in the back to deal with Haxorus, so I'm not as worried about that. Also, please don't be Scarf, because this is basically the same thing as Togekiss from last game. Don't be Scarf. You're shiny. You know what that means? Oh. Well, this is the exact same thing as the Togekiss from last game. Not the Desire. It's a good switch. Sasha can kill. I am just going to try and weaken them here. With another Fire Blast because they're in range of Quick Attack. So I don't, and they're also in range of Thunderous. But it also hits Jirachi. So it's not necessarily me trying to predict. Oh. And I got best case out of it. That's for missing on the Jirachi. Nice. Uh, damn, the Jirachi's still a threat, though. <laughs> that Jirachi's still a threat, man. I'll bring Rabambi out, because I think you go Haxorus here. As I go Jirachi. Man, this thing is annoying. A bug buzz for some damage. Get up sticky web, that way everything on my team is faster than well, this works out too. Yeah, because Moonblast then guarantees that one they might just die, but it also guarantees their range of quick attack, and I got up sticky web for the for the uh the Jirachi. So even though they made the play that obviously, you know, brings me down to my focus ash here. First off, Bug Buds might even just be a roll to KO this thing. So I'll take it. And they can't scale shot in Rabombi's face because I'm a fairy type, and also sticky web are up. So things are looking good now. I, li I literally get to go uh, buzzle after and click close combat. Click their specs, Jirachi. Click the CC. Get my beast boost. And Hashus is going to come in and that mon is going to melt. That Pokemon is going to melt. You are going to fall over, dude. Oh my god. Just, just, I'm about to give it a fracture, bro. I'm about to... <laughs> I'm about to give Haxorus a fracture. Come here. Not more than a fracture, bro. Good game. 
All right, let's go ahead and look for another one. Ooh, this also looks thunderisable. Is that a term? I'm very worried about these guys, though. I'm going to be honest. Crawdon in particular with webs up. That's why I need to match their webs immediately. If I match their webs immediately... Um... Yeah, if I match their webs immediately, then my buzzwall is incredible here. Like, Close Comet and Stone Knight are stupid good. Conk is weird because they might go for knockoff, get their guts, but... I feel like Moonblast is also relatively safe, but I don't want them to be like a random Stone Edge variant or something, so I'm going to go for webs just to match them as they go out to Avantula, which is fine for me because I can bust its Focus Sash, which will help out Diggers BKOing it later, and if they're committing to webs versus webs, I'm in a better position because Thunders and Azov are always going to be faster than everything on their team, so. And I got a special attack drop there too, which is awesome, so we're going to go Nikarazuma here. I'll keep her Bombies Focus Sash just in case Crawdall or Metagross get out of hand later. They do, unfortunately, hit me with a Mystical Fire, but I'm still going to try and hit them there. Is this Trick Room plus Sticky Web? Like, it feels like Trick Room plus Sticky Web, bro. Nice. I did absolutely nothing. But, every bit of damage on this is going to go well for Azov. Like, Azov is already poised to kill everything. Mm. This mod's annoying though, I'll be honest. Just weaken them and then we'll be able to go out to Buzzwall and click close combat. Just hit me. Hit me before I click Heat Wave, and you know what Heat Wave does in Pokemon Showdown? That move burns. You will hit me. I mean, if you want to waste all your covers, I'm good too. I don't lose anything by it. There you go. So now we bring out the GOAT, and you should switch, so I'm going to click Stone Edge here. Yep. Now, provided... <laughs> Man, I cannot catch a break today, huh? Mm. Such is life. Such is life. I know my stupid Xfinity installment is tomorrow. Thank you for reminding me. You don't have to rub it in my face that I have to get a crappy Xfinity. Right, Thunders can win. Diggersby looks the most useless. I guess I SD just in case. Alright, we're gonna go Thunders now. We're gonna Nasty Blood up. I think provided I hit Focus Blast, Thunders can win right now. Ah, man. <laughs> So that game turned into me clicking close combat like four times into a very rough end game because of their priority. Let's find out what happens though. Because Porygon does trace. Oh, no, 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 no it's download. Awesome. It doesn't trace Prankster, so. Yeah, so, like, guys, right here, if I manage to land Focus Blast, we may just win. <laughs> we may just win. I'm going to close my eyes and click it. I'm just going to believe, bro. Like the mermaid told Patrick, you just got to believe. I believe. Oh, my God. I got a beard and everything now, too. <laughs> Give me it. Nah, bro. Get out of here. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here. I don't care if that mattered. Don't. Say something, please. Say something, please, so I can refer to them. To turn 10. <laughs> Say something. Sir? Sir? <laughs> you just gonna let me kill all your Pokemon? You just gonna let Thunderous kill all your Pokemon? <laughs> Look at it. It's so majestic. I, I think this dies. Or does like 92%. If it's offensive, I think it dies. 97, yeah. Alright, I'm not going to die to Aqua Jet if I can afford to. Because all I got to do is Thunderbolt, Moltres, and win. So, 
Gonna stone edge here. It's not to kill Crawdon, but it's just in case they go Moltres, but it's just to put it in range. Oh, look, we managed to land. Let's go. <laughs> Basically, if I put Crawdon in range of dying, all I would have to do is go regular. So to win this game, like 100%, all I had to do was have Thunderous in versus Moltres. So I would sack something if Moltres ever came out. I would sack something. Maybe Rabombi. Actually, no, I keep Rabombi alive because it eats a hit from Crawdon. But I, by stone edging there, I probably did damn near 80%, right? So it probably died at two life or pits if it didn't die. And um, then it also covered Moltres, obviously, as a switch, which I didn't think they'd go out to. But as long as Crawdon was dead and I had Azelf plus Thunderous, I had two Pokemon that could... First off, Thunderous was knocking out Moltres with Thunderbolt anyway at the percentage it was at. But if it didn't, I had Azelf to knock it out after. Yo, this is like... Mono Pixie? Is that what they're going for here? I've never seen a better matchup for Rabombi. <laughs> That's wild. Bro, this is the most annoying Pokemon on their team. Look at this. That is so cool. So Azelf is their lead of choice. I'm just gonna bug buzz because I happen to have it on this moveset, which is awesome. <laughs> ah! Not bad. And now they were sex tuplets. Quartet is four, right? Hmm. Yeah, you're annoying to fight. Hmm. I want to keep you. We gotta stick you at versus Celebi. Yeah, this thing's very annoying to fight. I'm gonna go hard in the Krasma here and just try and hit it. With a Meteor Beam and a Photon Geyser. Dude, are you Bandit? Holy crap, man. I'm still going for Meteor Beam. I don't care. Oh my god, we landed. Let's go. So, the good thing is I can go as of now in Life Orb Energy Ball. And that will knock it out, so I don't have to worry about the defense raises or anything. And I still have... Uh, this is their Rocker. Well, I mean, okay, they, they have two more that could rock. They have three more that could rock, excuse me. All of them could rock. Hmm. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Get out of my sight. Bro, I did 60%. Come on. Oh, not the leech seed of Gen 4. Wait, 6? A sex tuplet? I don't even know. I, I don't I don't I don't even know. I don't Whatever, man. Go ahead and go Oxy. Oh, thankful thankfully I burnt it. Yeah, really think who keeps texting me dude we request that you and everyone in your home wear a facial covering and require 10 feet social yeah i know how to survive covid okay i'm not an idiot <laughs> i understand what i have to do it's not hard oxy comes out nasty plot thunder is actually is useless in this game but they could thunder wave i guess so all right they protect it i mean it's not it's useless but not useless at the same time like Let's say the Toxic here and they protect. I'm going to Nasty Blood up twice. Yeah, I had a feeling they beat Toxic Protect. Uh, we're just going to go for plus four anyway because I can't kill Oxy at plus two. And uh, I think plus four allows me to knock out the Celebi. Oh, let me go for plus six. Oh, shoot. They knocked off my attack. Whatever. I'm getting a kill now. The Thunderbolt. I, this may have been a misplay on my part, by the way, because they attacked me. That was not in the calculations. Never mind, they didn't protect. So, good. This should, in theory, be maybe three kills, depending on if they go Eldegoss. I want to focus last so badly, but I just need damage. Dude, I literally bug buzz win, so I just need damage on this thing, yeah. Why'd you even get rid of that? <laughs> Oh my god, you know what I'm about to lose to? Scarf Mesprey. You know why I'm going to lose? Because I'm going to miss. Not sure why they say that. But. <laughs> we're going to go you and click Bug Buzz. That's about to be Scarf Mesprey. Watch them be Sucker Punch as well. It wasn't Sucker Punch, thankfully. Let's see, Mesprey comes out. Don't be Scarf. Like, out of all the Pokemon that be Scarf, Mesper's like the one Mon I always remember for being Scarf. Like, damn near always. Of course it is. 
Psy Shock though. Which is decent. Psy Shock actually can't kill Buzzle. We get Fire Blast damage off. Yep. Let's see. There we go. That's quick attack range as well. So I think we SD and quick attack up. For sure. We don't predict here, we just click attack what's in front of us. Thankfully with Scarf Psy Shot. And then uh, Eldegoss comes out, we quick attack that. If it does manage to live at 53, I'm not going to risk missing Mega Kick like we've been the entire time. I could just go out to Buzzle and click, uh, oh that's awesome that they have Rocky on too because they get less recovery. I can just click close combat after, so nice. Um, after all that, we, we, we lost the game which is very unfortunate. I think we went 4-1, not 3-1. But uh, yeah, just... You know, relatively low ladder, just climbing. Uh, definitely um, difficult at times, I think, to use this team, too. Like, a lot of lack of resist that you have to deal with via priority, which, I mean, you don't have a lot of. You only have one. And then hope that webs go up. And obviously, your attacks missing make a big difference, too. A meteor Beam. I've never missed Meteor Beam more than today, which is once. <laughs> or is it twice? Uh, and then we had, uh, you know, a lot of stuff on this team. Fire. But if I don't want to miss, I wouldn't use it. But Mega Kick, Stone Edge, Fire Blast. There's a lot of stuff that I would not bring to a tournament. Or maybe I would if I if I was like up a lot or the team was up. But guys, let me know your thoughts on the Thunderous Suspect Test. Do you believe it should be banned? Do you believe it shouldn't be? Uh, no matter what my opponent was, like even if they had things like that, as long as I click Nasty Plot, there were certain games where provided it connects, it can win. I like how the Pixies on the end, because that's, that's what those things are, right? Or the the, the six lakes of, uh, of, of Diamond and Pearl instead of three. <laughs> Is it sextuplet? Is it se I don't or is it quartet or what, what? I don't want his quintuplets because you have your man. I, it's way too early for me. Thank you everybody for watching. I swear I'm not as stupid as I <laughs> I bring myself to be. I mean that's just snap for the video. Who knows? You guys just see whatever I want you to see, right? At the end of the day. So uh, yeah. Also, um, code aim. You gotta know I'm sponsored by this thing called G Fuel, and uh, code AIM is 30% off up until uh, I think the end of Monday. So if you guys want to pick up, some, oh today's Monday, shoot man, the days just freaking blend. Uh, if you guys want to pick up some G Fuel, it's a caffeinated energy drink. So 18 plus, be aware of what you're drinking. Obviously, you know it's caffeine. You know, caffeine is highly addictive, so be aware of what you're drinking, man. Uh, but if you're like me and you're not a huge fan of caffeine, but still like you know some drinks that have flavor you can try out the hydration line which i personally recommend 30 percent off of code aim you're helping me out by doing so we're on our shaker is in the like i saw the design that they came up well, i came up with with pedro but then they uh you know they they're making it. i'm waiting for the physical to come in so i can approve it so then we can move forward with that but again if y'all want to pick it up feel free to i will see you guys next time goodbye my friends